Greetings, game girls and game boys. I am Contemplate, and this is Stories Untold. I started it a long time ago and never finished it. Well, it's October, and you know what that means? Scary spooky. I was going to have an intro that would give an excuse as to why I've been gone for so long, but, well, I didn't have the time to do it, much less have the time to keep making videos. So, Hopefully you can forgive me, and hopefully I will continue to make videos more frequently and not take like a two-month hiatus. Anyway, let's begin Stories Untold. Chapter 2, Lab Conduct. Alright, so we did that house abandoned, and that one was really cool. So let's, let's check out the lab conduct. Conduct of the lab. Sometimes you need to do what to your screen? I'm scared. It's concerned. Scarce. Scarcerned. This is the same intro. Freaking love it. Love it to death, through death, and with death. Stories untold. Let's find out what story has been untold next. Does that, does that make sense? I don't know. Ooh! This is subject 12198623, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. We have Artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from Crash Site B. At the moment it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Mr. Asian, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal, and we need you to follow them exactly. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so Always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. When you're ready, let's bring this back. It's too many rules! It's too many rules. Let's see. Let's see, electronic spectrum ray. Let's see. Electronic electromagnetic spectrum X-ray required apparatus. Camera monitor set to X-ray. IR. Oh geez, help. Press keys. Bracketed in the top menu, move between pages, press tab to roll over to the test chamber. There we go. Oh, that's so good. All right. So, and then at the chamber, use the mouse cursor to select and interact. All right. Oh, 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 oh stop that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Turn that off. Is that a camera up there? Camera's recording. Oh man, I don't like that. X ray, let's see. Okay, what did it say? I can monitor set to X ray charge CC86 X ray device. So CC86 X ray device. That's a CC86 X ray device. So. Charging, charge ready, okay. All right, so that is charged. 
Alright, let's go back to menu here. Let's check two. Concentrate light laser. Required apparatus LZR2 light generator set wavelength. Monitor. Uh, generator. Set monitor set to RGB. RGB, so 650, 655, 10, 455. So 650. Uh, wait, what device is that? It's related to the LZR2 light. So LZR2, so set RGB to, let's see, 650. R set to G five ten and B four fifty five. Um Okay, hang on. <clears throat> Laser two set set wavelength. Light frequencies, set wavelength. Monitor set to RGB. Uh, I don't know what that is. Turn it off. I don't know what it means, set to RGB. I feel stupid. Like, this is supposed to be spooky, and I just... It's just sitting here making me feel dumb. Three. We'll see. Wavelength, square sign, sawtooth, uh, amplify set gain. Amplifier display, signal generator, set frequency, and waveform. Required apparatus. Wave types. Okay, so it says set gain. What do you... What gain? Sign generator, set frequency, and waveform. To What? Hang on. This one was easy. Wait, RGB full color. R3, IR, XR, input modes. X-ray. Monitor set to X-ray, XR. Uh, I'm so confused now. You know what? Just turn it all on. 42 hertz. I know it said to not turn on shit that we're not using, but I don't care. There, it's all set up. Uh, so, hang on. C, signal generator set waveform frequency required. So, Okay, let's see. Let's check four. See if four gives any specific. Ensure all other equipment except the camera and TV are switched off. When ready, trigger the sync master as normal to begin drill insertion. Switch drill on. Ensure that all other equipment except the camera and TV are switched off. So. Awaiting x-ray data. Okay. Let's see. So, if you use safety goggles and gloves at all times, do not leave the container unattended during an experimentation. It is extremely dangerous to handle any items within the container. Please ensure your next of kin is up to date at HR. As per your agreement, follow instructions exactly. But tell me, good sir, what are the instructions? Equipment, test chamber, camera, T. Oh, that's nice that they lay it out for you like that. Okay. So one, camera monitor set to x-ray. CC86 x-ray device. Okay, that's done. Laser 2 required apparatus is the laser 2 wavelength monitor set to RGB. I don't know what that means. Am I stupid? I think I might be stupid. Like, uh... 
I'm so very confused. Like, what frequency am I setting it for? Hmm. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, so set that to x-ray. Okay. Which is what it's supposed to be. This is charged. Okay, hang on. So amplifier display. Okay, but what do you want it set at? Okay, you know what? Hang on. All right, hang on, hang on. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm really dumb. Let's see. Safety instructions. Five. Let's see. Use safety goggles. Nope. Six. Nope. Four. Okay. When ready, trigger sync master as normal to begin drill. Ensure all other equipment except camera and TV are switched off. So everything except for the camera and the TV needs to be switched off. So everything but the camera and TV. TV, camera, everything switched off. Okay, what am I forgetting to do? Okay, wait, how do I activate it? Let's see, when, when ready, trigger, sync master is normal to begin drill. Insertion, okay. X-ray the artifact to determine its initial structure, okay. So, let's turn and switch back over here. Let's turn this off. Let's charge the X-ray. That's set to X-ray. Okay, X-ray. There we go. Okay, good work. The X-ray is coming through now. There's no visible damage to the surrounding organic material. Uh, no signs of activity either. All output is flatlined. Okay, let's begin. All right. So experiment complete. Press Enter to receive new information. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the subject. Try using low-powered red laser to begin it with it. Okay, so let's see. So red laser is 650. Okay. Okay, I didn't like the sound of that. Okay. So, red laser. No reaction from first stage. Let's try a high frequency. All right. Cool, cool. Increase laser energy. Use a green laser, okay? Wait, oh, I need, hang on. I need to get the green laser information here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Green, 510. Three, two, one, and green. It's a heart. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. Yes, sir. All right, use the blue. All right. Blue is 455. Three, two, one, laser! Whoa. Oh, it's beating. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. What is it? stable. There's no activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. Let's push further. Okay. All right, test acoustic resonance properties of the subject. Begin with a generator 250 hertz. 250 sine wave with amplified gain set to one. So 250 sine wave amplify. So, so it's gotta be a sine wave. So let's turn and set that up so I don't forget anything. Guys, this is like watching some nerd do science experiments. How entertaining is this? But I'm still intrigued to figure out what is all going on. So begin with generate 250 hertz. So let's. Uh huh. Turn this 
it's way up to 250. Oh wait, still gotta go up. Higher and higher, guys, higher and higher. Ooh. Almost there, hang on. And 250 hertz. Turn the laser off, because we're not using it. What's that? The readout. So 250 hertz, sine wave set to one. Said to set it to one. There we go, and let's hit it. Not much of a response. Uh, updating the experiment now. Yeah, I didn't think it was much of a response either, if I'm being honest. But I wasn't gonna sound like a a, a missy prissy. 500 hertz set to five. Wait, is it all still sine wave? Hang on. Let's see, increase frequency for 500 hertz sine wave. Yeah, okay. So if I, wait, five, dang it, 500 set, to, this would be good in VR, set to 5K. So crank this up to 5, take 5 and 500 hertz. So let's crank that bad boy all the way up. Ooh, makes me wonder what goes wrong if you don't uh, follow the specific, like I, I turned everything off like I'm supposed to, so what happens if you don't, you know? Almost want to find out. There we go. Three, two, one, and oh, look at that vibration. Hmm. See some fluctuations in activity. You think? Should they increase? Is there a risk of damage? What about the prolonged period? Okay, we're going to push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Running out of time. Interesting. Okay. So, switch to a square wave, maintaining current. So, shh. All right. Square wave. Three, two, one. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, that's probably not good. Seeing good activity on this side. Good. You define that as good. What, what's going to happen? The heart's going to explode and blow the container up? I don't care. It's a freaking heart. I'm not uncomfortable with this. Maintaining the gain of 5 and the square wave. Bring waveform frequency to 1 kilohertz. Okay. Just bring it all the way down to 1. Ooh, I love that. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. Kilohertz. Holy crap, we're we're at hertz right now, so we need to go to a thousand hertz to make one kilohertz. Okay, whatever you say, boss. Look at the look at the readouts in the lower left hand. Oh, uh, this is this isn't gonna end well, guys. We're gonna pop this heart. And you know what that means? I get a pay deduction, because I popped another I'm breaking hearts here, guys. Just breaking the hearts. Boop. Okay. Wait, that didn't switch to kill a hurt. Weird. Anyway, three, two, one, boom. Oh, this is good. Full activity registering. We did it. Can you hear us? You've made it excellent progress. You're doing great. I popped I it. Okay. I'm going to attempt to alleviate some of the discomfort. Am I working on my own heart? The pros the protective casing is off. Proceed to the to drill the surface. Okay, was there something inside the heart? Okay, so Alright, turn everything off. Except for the TV. The camera. Three, two, one, drilling! It won't even let me turn anything else on. How's my progress? Huh? Don't be scared. We have I'm not. Under control. What situation?
I'm I'm ready uh, to leave this room where nothing works anymore because I broke it. Make con artifact. Open the test chamber. Grand. Okay. Uh, do I have my safety goggles and gloves? Uh, I'm going to need those if I am to interact with the artifact. Fantastic. Okay, let's uh, pop this bad boy open. Well, I gotta say... Stay calm. You're doing fine. Okay, I'm not calm anymore. I'm a little bit afraid. Remember what? Whoop! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, I killed myself. <laughs> it did tell me to... New data connection ready. I'm ready too. Okay. Woo! Am I okay? Got a US, it's a type C plug there in the front. You wake up in the crypt. You wake up in the cryopod, struggling against the gravity you force yourself up. You can navigate its memories. Use the computer. Work your way through. Impact into the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship hull. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. You're in grave danger. You must get out of here. Okay, suppose... What do you want me to do? I don't know what to do. You wake up in the cryopod struggling again. <sighs> oh wait, what? Look object not recognize. Um <laughs> All right. Uh I'm trying. What commands? Member. Oh, really? Command I'm mega recognized. Okay, um. I don't know, game! Okay, again, I had to look up, uh, thing to see if. To, to, to proceed. There, open door, really? The airlock door is clamped shut. It's controlled remotely. Use remote. Open door. Okay. Okay, so I did what they said. They said to open door. Uh, now click and hold the middle of the orb, start the next adventure, use the computer, and open the door. Click and hold the middle of the orb again to reach the next part of the adventure. Okay. Open. Door. The airlock is clamped shut. It's controlled remotely. Okay. It's...
Now what? It's... <sighs> okay, use... The airlock door is clamped shut. It is controlled remotely. Retrace the steps, Mr. Ishin. Explore these memories. Type your commands into the computer. Okay, you know what? I, I think it's BS. This dude I just watched play a little bit is just like, oh, let's make things up and go along. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. Both of the commands he entered immediately gave him results. Look around. I stopped before, like, more solutions were given. The craft is broken beyond repair. There's wreckage all around. An airlock door is locked tight, and the computer terminal adjacent blinks. Terminal. This is how far I got. He did some other things, but monitor blinks, demanding attention. The system looks unusable. Looks usable. Use. Terminal. You tap the screen and the airlock door sputters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of its reserves. Okay. I, I didn't see this, luckily. Okay, uh, so, uh, use door. This organ was taken from what we think was the leader. These memories are different, and not like the others. There's more detail here. Less hazy. Lean in. See what else is high. Alrighty! Just cram my eyeballs back. <laughs> That's definitely a good sign. Okay, they're acting like they don't know much about it, but the fact that they know as much as they do tells me they know something more than they're saying. You squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. It's describing the moment we found the ship. Mr. Asian, please continue. Uh, your vehicle, every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around to see you are surrounded by mangled metal. Bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. Let's just use this old one. A crash site. Smoke billows from the downed ship. Exterior lights flicker on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Looking upwards, you see unfamiliar star patterns. Uh... Uh, let's see, crash site, smoke pills. Hi. The airlock door no longer has any power, and you doubt you could get back inside the ship without risking your life. Crash site, smoke pills from down ship. It's around you, look up where you see our Look at stars. You don't recognize any of the star patterns above you, okay? Let's look around again. Crash night, smoke billows, exterior lights flicker on and off, wreckage surrounds you. Looking upwards, search. Search. Wreckage. Get up. So what? Oh, tell me. Uh, why, like, for me, is this the most difficult thing? Just die. Okay, uh. Sort of down ship. Oh my gosh! Okay, again, this... Uh, look at the lights. The lights are blinding. You can make out silhouettes, but you will need to move some of the surrounding wreckage for a better view. Uh, move... Wreckage. 
Oh, with every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. Uh, uh, attack lights. Okay, cover eyes. Look around. A circle of artificial lights surround you, set up to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people, all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Greet! Silhouette! Oh, good. You should be proud of yourself. Oh, so proud. All right, let's get in there. Give us some more memories. I might actually be able to do this. Ah! Haha. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Intriguing. Some stuff going on there. We awake. The room is silent only for the quiet hum of the equipment and occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. Start off with the classic look around. We are in a bed in a small artificially lit room with a single door. There's some sort of writing pinned on the wall. Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room. We didn't put this entity in quarantine. It expired at the crash. Whose memories are these? When did this happen? They're my memories. It's in my mind now. Uh, we're in a bed in a small artificially lit room with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room into our chest. They have tortured us. <laughs> uh, read writing. Symbols seem to indicate we're on our body where they had to cut. We've been butchered and maimed over and over. Look at monitor. The screen didn't give anything away, flashing symbols and what could be numbers in rhythm. Use monitor? Okay. Yeah, a small artificially lit room with a single door. Use. Okay, you know what? Let's look at the door first. The door in the corner looked atmospherically sealed shut. Let's try to open it. We can't reach the door, effectively tethered to the machine. Remove wires. Look at chest. There's smaller artificial room. There's some sort of adjacent is a display monitor with wires and wires. Here, let's let's try a look at wires. Wires. Okay, a series of wires leaves the machine and run across to our chest, attached in different places. We aren't sure if the black fluid is going in or coming out. Collective discomfort. Uh. Fluid. Okay. Wires. Get up. Uh. Disconnect wires. Remove wires. Oh, yeah! I tried to remove the wires. We yank at the wires protruding from our chest. 
Together, we all scream in pain. This action sets off an alarm, echoing loudly down the adjacent corridor. Uh, look at door. Whoops. Door. The door is in the corner. Looks out. Open door. No! No! We're not stopping! You did this to us! Tell me more, iBot! Oh, hello! Who was that little girl? Or older girl who just looked young, I'm not sure. Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. The door closes behind us and locks clamped shut. We are alone together. Uh... Look at that. Device. It was an access code terminal for a wide connection, allowing commanders to com commandeer other hosts. Only you, I, we have access to the codes. It's time to use them. Enter codes. What is that? Mm. We haven't seen that before. What is it doing? It's using the tool we recovered from the crash site. It's in our systems. It's sending something across the network. It's broadcasting. Mistake. Okay, hang on. Please. We deeply regret what we have put you through, but please understand. Arrows up and down, just select arrow, arrow keys left and right to change the cliff. Okay, so. Could be catastrophic. You don't know what this might do to you in the long run. Don't care. Not worried about it, bud. You, uh, you worry about you, I'm gonna do me over here, okay? Just, uh, keep your pants all in a row, okay? I entered all those glyphs at the top. Nothing's happening, though. Hang on. Okay, so let's see. I can't. I don't see. I can't seem to choose these other glyphs. So let's see. Arrows. Okay, and I can only affect the glyph that I'm on directly. Okay, so let's try some other glyph patterns here. Let's see. Well, the thing is, this top, the top glyph is definitely this, but that doesn't seem to be getting us any results. Select row, use change glyph. Okay, so what am I missing? Definitely the right pattern. Maybe invert it. No, that doesn't work. Okay, hang on, I've got to line these up. Okay, so that does say that. I think that was this. Hang on. Okay, that was that, yeah. And... There we go! Got it! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, well, that's what you get when you mess with the. Okay. They're all free. They're converging. It's over. Yeah, it is. And we are one. 
We are together. We are all, and we are alone, and we are together. Oh, man, I'm gonna die. Boop, 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 boop. I'm connecting with it. Well, what happened? Oh, too late for that, bud. Did I do it? Did I win? One day, Mr. Asian, this will haunt you. <laughs> nah. That was it? Ugh. I mean, it took me almost an hour to do, and I had to cheat just a little bit. I had to get two of the answers. But that one was pretty cool. I liked it. All right. So, uh, that's chapter two. I'll try to do chapter three and four before the end of October. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Hopefully very soon. Game over.